this is hydrogen tap as you can see it's still pouring here I'm going to show you the installation that I'm making in the Honda it's been raining here for days and I'm still going ahead with the installation but it's as you can imagine it's a lot harder we're on the inside of the Honda looking out and I'll show you what's going on and that's is where the emergency brake is I have I've installed a switch that turns the cell on or I should say bypasses it it turns it off so when this is down the cell is completely off so I can do that from this part I don't have to worry about anything else I'm going to show you how that works in just a minute when you turn the ignition key on those two relays will will close when the relays close that will start the cell and there's one other system that goes along with this and the reason for that is I worry about the one of the relays or the contacts welding together and that does happen on relays sometimes so in this case if one of them one of those relays is to weld itself closed if one of the relays stays closed and the other is open meaning the key switch is off the cell will not go on the cell will only go on when both of these relays are closed or on that way I can ensure that if there's a problem with the relay and you turn the key off the cell turns off and it's been interesting wiring that up two relays are put in parallel and what they're hooked to is the cigarette lighter positive lead it takes very very little current to turn these on so the cigarette lighter lead turns these on these turn on the cell so the 40 amps or the, or the 15 amps in this case are going through the relay itself the the leaves on the relay but it takes very very little amperage to turn these on there's a pretty decent shot of the throughput to the cab and you can see the color coding it goes around here and where it's going to hook to the cell one of the things that I've done is I'm hooking directly to the battery terminal. This is the plus terminal. And here's your negative terminal. They're clamped on to the terminal itself. nothing goes to any other fuse box so you can see the red lead here is going to the relay What I'm going to be trying to do today is install the cell in here and start running the test. If it's the rain just slows down a little bit. So the red lead is going to the positive side of the battery going through the relay and coming back to the blue lead. And the blue lead as you follow it around goes to one side of the cell the black you see a black wire there that is my ground 
that's going to the relay and also again to the straight to the minus side of the battery. I'm not using any grounds on the car itself. This way I have a positive ground. I should say that was a pot. It's a negative ground but it goes directly to the battery. I ordered some one-way valves but they were the wrong kind they came so I've got to get some more. They will go in here. You can see it's going directly into the air intake. And here is the bad boy, the oxygen sensor, which I'm going to have to override. Again, you can go to hydrogentap.com and see some real good layouts on the focus cell. I've got the dimensions and everything you might want to look at. I'll be putting up some direct links to YouTube videos by tonight so you'll be able to look at them as well.